I want to talk to you about two types of rhythm guitar that I use with slapback delay. Like I mentioned in another video, I like to use slapback mainly with rhythm guitar and less with lead guitar because unless it's a kind of a slow part or like a baritone, something simple, it can be a little disorienting, a little jarring, and it makes your playing less clear, you know, unless you have your slapback really tuned nicely. So what I'm doing right here is I have my overdrive ahead of my delay. And what that does is that that makes it not so crazy. And and, and uh, like, like if, if that was reversed, the delay might be overpowering. So I have this set overdrive, then delay, and I'm going into a clean amp. And the delay I'm using is an analog delay. So there's a single slap and it's muted. It's, it's quieter. The highs are rolled off. So it's not so intense versus like a, like a digital bright delay. You know, and it really just depends on what you're into. And some nights I, I might use a different one, but right now this is, this is, this is a better, right? It can even be a little faster. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Checka. Yeah. And that's one of the rhythm guitar parts I like to play, but I'm gonna show you a very, very simple way to do this. Let's say you're playing a country song and it's in the key of E. So the chords are most likely gonna be E, A, and D. So a really common thing you can do is to go like this. What am I doing? I'm playing the root and the third of E major, and that's right out of the C shape of E major. So that's an E major chord because it's a C that I put all the way up on E, and I'm just playing root, third, and then my pinky's going down and playing the fifth. So root, third, fifth, third. And I'm using muting on my right hand to go so it's when you get to your four chord you can go I'm using an open E because it's an A major but I could play it here or if that's too confusing for you you can play it right there there's A up there same idea root third fifth third so here we go here's an example one two three four E E E, here comes my A, and I'm just walking up. And here's my B. Now, you can make that fancier if you know some finger picking stuff. If you know, like this pattern, for example, like. Same idea with some finger picking. That slap back, and I'm using a lot of percussion, right? You can still do the walk. This works for every single chord. Another really easy way to use a slap back delay in rhythm guitar is just with triads on, on two and four. So it could be one, one, two, one, two, two, and dip, 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 E. And here's the beat. Very, very simple, right? I'm just slapping on two and four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And that gives the drummer, that gives the drummer some, some juice, right? That makes the snare hits stronger. If you wanted to like take that to the next level, you could add more percussion. So you can go like. I'm doing this, I'm going. Squeeze, 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 one, two, oh, one, two, three, here's A, and here's E. It's almost like a Cajun feel. Now, your band might hate that, your drummer might hate that, or they might say, damn, that sounds really good, that gives me like, that's like percussion with notes. So they might really dig that idea. Remember that once you take that away though, it's gonna sound very empty. So you kind of have to kind of keep that up for the whole song. Um, but with those two ideas, right? You got this muting thing. You got this, just the two, on, two and four thing. And then you could crank it up with. That's super easy. You don't really have to learn anything extra to do that. You just slap on a delay play the right chords uh, with the right attitude. And remember to, to use muting for a lot of this stuff, right? And that muting with the slappy thing, with the, with this thing, I'm mainly muting and I'm squeezing with my left hand. Do that, 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 squeeze, 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 squeeze. 
those keys. So that's that. By the way, I want, I want you to hear what it sounds like if I use a, like a digital bright sounding delay and more overdrive. You're gonna hear it's gonna sound a lot more intense. Right, that might not sound great for that situation. It might be perfect, it's up to you. Just be aware, you know, the order of delay, overdrive, and how the different types of delay can affect your sound. And one more thing, I don't like putting, uh, like, I don't like delays that have choruses on them. I'm not into that sound. I think that's like, it's just, it just ends up sounding like you have chorus on. You know, it's not perceived like, oh, that's a tape delay with, it doesn't really end up sounding like that. It just sounds like chorus like a very quiet chorus. So unless you want chorus added to your sound, I wouldn't opt to put a chorus on, on my repeats. Check out my video on delays in general and you can learn more about how I set up my delays.